mathematics feels impossible until it doesn't. Sometimes when we work on mathematics, we don't understand what we're doing. And we try, and we try again, and then maybe we put it down and we try again the next day. And we still don't get it. Sometimes it just seems impossible. And so what do you do when you just don't get it? You know, you've, you've done everything you can do to try to understand and, and nothing works. You know, I've been in that situation. I remember trying to understand the inequality proofs that you do with mathematical induction. I actually have videos of these now here on the channel and I know the tricky step and I try to explain the tricky step different ways but it's still hard for people and I remember it being hard for myself too and it felt impossible until it wasn't. And so how do you break that cycle? Well I think that the answer is you don't. Right? When you're encountered with something difficult in mathematics, you do the best you can. You use all your resources, your notes, your book. You go see your teacher if you have one, the internet. And most of the time, you'll be able to get a pretty solid understanding if you put in the work. But sometimes, things just don't click. And I think that the missing ingredient sometimes is something that we can't control. It's called time. Well, I guess you can control that. You can just let time pass. But that's how it clicked for me. If we go back to that example with those induction proofs, it wasn't until you know, maybe a year later where I was learning to write actual mathematical proofs in a proof writing class that I was able to go back and say, oh yeah, I remember those induction proofs. Now they make sense. Now I understand that key step where we use you know, the induction hypothesis and when we break things up. It takes time sometimes, that's all it is. You know, it's normal at any age too. You know, when I was in eighth grade, I didn't understand algebra and they took me out of the class and put me in another class. But in seventh grade, I was really good at math. So the brain works in mysterious ways and the key takeaway from this video is realize that math is hard and sometimes it just takes time. It just takes time. You just need time to process the mathematics, right? I mean, those are the two things that you need in order to learn math, right? Practice and time. Because you can practice like crazy, you know, like cramming for a test and you can probably learn a lot but a lot of times when you do that, you tend to forget it fairly quickly. You need time to absorb the material. Time is important. It's an important equation in all of it. You know, you only have so much energy in a day, right? There's only so much math you can do. You have to sleep, you have to eat, you know, you have to shower, you have to do other things. You can't just do math 24 hours a day. So you need time, you need time to process it too. It's a strange thing. It's a strange thing. I remember being in a classroom once in graduate school and this professor was writing these double sums on the board and everyone was so lost. I thought, double sum, double series. You don't, you don't do a lot of that as an undergrad. And this guy raised his hand and he said, how do you get better at that? My teacher looked at him and he said, experience. And I was just like, whoa, that's all he said. Just experience, it's like, yeah, just practice because he was manipulating the double sums like, you know, they were nothing. So it takes time. It takes time at all levels, at all ages, at you know, basic algebra, when you're young, when you're older, you know, basic math, all levels of math, advanced, easy, it all takes time. And it all seems hard and it all seems impossible until it's not. I always think about that feeling you get when you don't understand something, right? You're sitting there and you're staring at a piece of paper with a pencil and you're like, ah, I don't know how to start this problem. I don't know what to write. That's called not understanding, right? So, and then when you, when you can get past that feeling, that's when, that's when it makes sense.
that's when it doesn't seem impossible. But it always feels impossible when you're trying. And keep that in mind when you encounter new math, because you'll see new math in the future, and there's different types of math. So it's all challenging in its own way. What do you think? Do you have any advice for people watching this video on how to learn math? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn math, I have courses. Links are in the description or on my website, mathsourcer.com. If you get my courses, please use my links because one, I've lowered the prices, and two, it helps me greatly. The key takeaway you should take away from this video is that math seems impossible until it's not, and sometimes it just takes time. And sometimes you just don't get it, and it's okay, and you just have to move on, right? You just have to keep going. I always think about those inequality proofs, you know, that I, I didn't understand. I, I worked so hard. I stayed up so late, like way later than I should have stayed up, and then I had to get up early. I remember staying up till 2 a.m. sometimes, and then having to get up at 6 because I had to drive to school, and just all because of those little inequality proofs. And did I ever understand them? No, it took it took took about a year or more, right? Because several semesters had to pass before I went into that proof writing class. Or, or when I didn't understand basic algebra when I was younger, I couldn't understand the properties, you know, what, what was commutative, what was associative, what, what are these variables? Once they threw variables in there, I, I was lost. Like what, what's X, what's Y, what's Z, what's going on, right? But then time passes and it all becomes okay. So if you're, if you're watching this, and you just feel completely lost, and it doesn't matter at what level you're at, right? Eventually, you'll get there if you keep trying. You just gotta keep trying, because if you quit trying, then, then you'll never get there. But what I mean by keep trying is, you know, you can, you can give it up for now and try again later, and at some point, it will click. You know, even if it's not tomorrow, at some point, it will eventually make sense to you. It will eventually make sense. And there's things like this in all subjects. I always think about, uh, if you know any programming, uh, pointers in C. That, that was, I remember trying to learn about pointers on my own. Really tough. It took, it took me a while to get that. Math is like that, but in a very broad sense. It's like most of math is like that. <laughs> Anyways, I've talked a lot. As always, keep doing mathematics.